shit! Hey! I'm all done. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my god! <laughs> Time to wake up, eh? Yeah. Wakey, wakey, eh? Oh, another day, another fish. <laughs> you. No, it doesn't lie. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, she's on. Yep. Should keep the mosquitoes away. Ow. Almost got a treble. Almost a treble in the foot. That would have been bad, bad to the bone. Dun 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 dun. Bad to the bone. B -b 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 Buyer. B -b -b bad to the bone. I'm gonna sit it here in the armchair. Still on. Burning away. Mosquito. They're coming around to get you. Mosquito. Mosquito. Buggy. My coffee's actually steaming. The morning brew. Morning brew. We're gonna be sipping this one because it's very hot. Mmm. <laughs> I think I just burnt my mouth. Oh, no. Cheers. Oh, I'm getting no wolf spiders on the pack. Hopefully. Big bite on the neck. Turn into Spider Man, eh? That would actually be cool. Imagine if you were Spider Man fishing. You can shoot your web into the fish. <laughs> yeah, we'd be fishing the best spots ever. We'd be fishing that spot we can't get to. Got the drone today, so hopefully we get some action with that. Another beautiful day in paradise. There's even a washed up coconut, bro. Oh, that one actually feels full. Might come back for that later. <laughs> Show us your long time. Nah, no, not that long time. <laughs> nah, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, long time. You. That's gonna be bait today. Or burly, bait or burly. We'll find out. Mezzanine, hopper clean, Charlie Sheen. Put him in the washing machine. There's a fuel tank for a boat. Gonna go out there for a float. Gonna catch a fish, no joke. It's a big one, no hope. Yeah, I don't care who's looking at me up in the air. UFO's gonna get me one day. Take me to another planet, I say yay. Let's go hook a 300 kilo GT. Everybody's gonna be watching me on TV back on Earth when I'm in Mars. Yeah, I don't care, I'm spitting these bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the birds loved it. I know, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <sighs> you gonna be right with that? Super sketchy. Super sketch. G.I. Joe. There you go. Oh, woo! Hoo -hoo. It's just about to say we're just rocking up, mate. Rocking up to the ledge. Conditions look very nice. And it was dewy at the camp, so there's a little bit of moisture and everything, and I can see why now, because the wind, it's a wind direction to a warmer wind, I think, today. So whenever you get cold wind and then a change to warm wind, you're gonna get a bit of dew at the camp. So that's what's going on. That can be very good for fish activity. So yeah, let's get a popper on and go popping, eh? Pop at that GT, hopefully. Ew. Taking the big, big, big. Taking the big, big. Taking the GT minnow off. Yoyakma. Alawakpa. Putting the popper on. Pop, pop, boom, get in my room, eat a mushroom. Pliers in the pocket. All right, gloves on and we're ready to roll. How's the burn? The burn kind of looks a little bit better. You've got GT, GT ointment on it from yesterday. It's healing. That's good. I had a big fall yesterday too, cut my elbow. Rock climbing, how I slip. All right, this is it. 
Let's go. Already, I uh, quickly change the hindsight now. Eww. Oh, good. Ready? Check your drag. Good. Is your drag all right? I'm ready. Go. Yeah. Conditions real calm. The water today, eh? Oh, the sun! Look at that! Man, how wild does that look? So good! Alright, right, a few more casts for this, I might switch to the light tackle. We get a tuna or something, or another massive GT like yesterday. But that sun is looking crazy. No sign of nothing. Switching it up, eh? Well, I'm putting this on for the tuna. We'll take this one off. The magic one from yesterday. We'll tie a new, new leader knot, actually. We'll tie a new knot. <coughs> Why not, eh? Why not? This is the shadow color. Prototype. But probably available by the time you see this video. Let's go, tuna. Eww. There's a full colour right there. Nice. Let's go. No hits on the GT stuff, so let's go for a tuna or something. The tuna jumped right there before. Right in front. Oh! It's the morning and we've had no hits. <laughs> that morning session was very non-productive <laughs> so we're going to move to the other side of the mountain again the gt hole i got the drone hopefully they're there we can drone some cool stuff let's go and check it out Woo. all right spot number two here we go can't get enough of this view though so memorizing very cool. Yeah, we still walking. And yeah, we still talking. Oh. oh, we made it to the rock. Too low tide for the flat session. So we're gonna try and scale our way across, I guess, eh? and then we'll cast it some Mackies and tuna. Could be GT. How do you feel? Probably could I be. Put the popper on straight away. Could be anything. Chop back to that. Yeah, start big, go small. Yeah. That's it. Let's get over there somehow. I don't remember how we got up. We just boosted up, hey. You just got to use your, your muscles. Your strength. Yeah. Kind of a mesh, but it's not <coughs> a mesh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good, strong grip hold there. Yeah, and I'll jump up to the next one. Yeah. yeah. We wouldn't be able to do it if there wasn't that nice ledger. Nah. Here comes the sun. Da 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 da. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's my actual noise. Phew. Yep. Let's go. Time to set up and go for a pop. Yeah, pop a race. Second stop. Let's go. I got the pliers in my pocket too. Oh, yeah. Where where you wanna cast from? I'm gonna cast out here first and work my way out. Okay. Alrighty. Ready? Yeah man. Yep. Just count down. Where are you casting? Where are you going again? Why well, these go out here then? Alright, three, two, one. Your one's blooping really well. Yeah. I think I got my hooks are a bit big on this one. But that'd be good for if the GT hits it though. Yeah? Oh my god, bro! What was that? That was a very, 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 very big shark. You gonna come around this down here? Um, I don't know, what do you reckon? <laughs> Try the inside bay. The 
go on light tackle. Cast into that current, I think. Yeah, we're on. We're on. You. We're on, mate. Oh, you. Little Spanish mackerel. Oh, there's heaps of them. Look at that. Look at the school of mackerel. That's sick. You. Oh, we're gonna get this guy in quick, quick in and out. Beautiful fish. Whoa. <clears throat> You're right, mate. You're right. We'll get you back. <sighs> One hook. Two hooks. All right, we'll get you back. Beautiful Spanish mackerel. There you go, mate. There he is. Cruising. Ew. That was cool, as. There's heaps of them out there. Oh, how's that? <clears throat> First time using the shadow color, straight on to a fish. Let's get back out there, eh? Phew! <clears throat> there should be some monster mackerel here, I reckon. Oh, again! Oh, how's that attack? Right there, right in front. Left a big hole too. Ew! That's sweet. <clears throat> Bro! Bro! You ready? Oh! Oh, bro! Big golden trevally! Big ones! He's, he wants that, but he's not committing! Big golden trevally is just here, then. That was cool. I'm gonna take a daisy fresh refresh, I think. Go up there and drink, eat something little, come back. Uh, one fish on the board, mighty mackerel. Gonna have a little drink and we'll get back out there, eh? This is a sight casting platform right here. Gonna chill here for a bit. Lots of bait still, eh? We just need a bit more activity with the water that should turn on. Give the mouth a nice clean. All right, let's have a sticky beak, eh? Woo! All right, wasn't really much in there at the moment. It's probably better to jump in when we can actually see, visually see something like the big GTs or a shark or something. And it's actually not as clear as it looks kind of very milky so I don't want to go out too far maybe later it's going to clear up or something but yeah we'll come back nice to refresh anyway in the water feels good righty back on the sight cast rock after a quick dip in the water we're just going to perch up here for however long it takes for the fish to start firing up and we're going to start casting I'm hooked up mate I'm going to be casting that again let's see mate the gatekeeper gatekeeper of the rocks you. Ah. Oh, he's still hanging. He's very big. Oh, spooked. How was that? A floating, a sinking lure is not, not actually great for them. Need a floating. That was crazy. Big Maui Russ, Joe just spotted. That was huge, man. Yeah, it was proper. Where is he? Right here. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Oh, yeah, that's the same one. Or oh, well, maybe not the same one, but. That is big, man. I wonder if 
I got that on video, but that was cool, eh? Yeah, I hope you did. I made a bit of a splash. I was hoping he'd turn around, but it just kept going. Phew! Rock it back, back it, don't you come about. <laughs> Trina there. Oh, look at the Trina. Get the bait. Get the bait. Alright, the current's starting to work again now, so I'm gonna start fishing. Sat here for about two hours or something, just watching. So yeah, we'll start here, then maybe go over there. Come oh, on, darling. Oh, maybe it's a tuna. Oh shit. I'm all right. Yeah. Wow. I gotta get it up. Wow. You right? Am I filming? Can't see. Yeah, all right. Get up there. Oh. Oh, let me go there. I don't know what it is. It's big. Yeah, you're filming. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, bro. What is that? I can see it. I can see it. That is a tuner, I think. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big, big, oh, no. Shark, shark got it. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh my gosh. That's, that's what had it. Wow. Woo. Woo. Wow. That shark came out of nowhere, man. And the GTA. Oh, there's a shark. What? Hectic. That was actually crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Bro. Oh, that's our food. Yeah. Perfect dinner. Woo! Yeah, that was that crazy. Was, it was nuts, Bobby. I went in and everything, oh. Oh, that was absolutely crazy. <laughs> I fell in from the top into the water to fight this fish. And there was a shark, big black GT and everything. That was awesome on that lure. On the prototype. Alright, this is going to be our food. Just chop that off cleanly. And that'll be a very, very nice feed for back at home camp. Oh, amazing. Woo! Alright, I'm gonna get back out there, I reckon. Could be action. Woo! Alright, we got the lure out. Fish is here. Take it up. And um, get put it in the shade. And we're gonna eat this later for sure. It's gonna be really good, not really nice food. Spanish mackerel, my favourite. How's the teeth? Teeth are gnarly. I'm not gonna put my finger in there because it's still got nerves. I could just chomp down. That would not be good. Uh, gonna put the mackerel in here. Keep it in the water. <sighs> Should stay fresh in there. Well, there's a lot of action going on and I had to come back up. Mess around with the GoPro because it kept powering off saying, it, the, the battery was like 60% and it kept saying not enough power to run or something like that kept shutting off so I just changed the battery to another fresh one but that's crazy I don't know if I filmed all this crazy tuna busting up at my feet hitting my lure so yeah anyway we're back on GoPro's ready to go hopefully and Joe's over here there's so much bait and everything's starting to happen now let's get back out there Woo! So I'm gonna have one more cast out here they're gonna gut the mackerel clean it up a bit so it's all fresh and ready to go back to camp. See if anything comes and smashes the lure. Been been a little bit quiet for the last 30 minutes or an hour. Alright, didn't see anything come up. Let's go and clean this macro though. Eh? 
Alright, we're going to gut this mackerel. See what's inside it, eh? Alright, that's gutted and ready to take back when we head back. It's going to be really good food. Half a mackerel. <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna be real tasty. We'll cook it up, eh? So Joe's standing out there on the rock. We're gonna try and fly the drone. See if we can get Joe to hook up to a GT when the drone's on, eh? There we are. There's Joe. Alrighty, I filmed a few sharks, some scenic stuff, some turtles, but no GT hookups. Bro! <laughs> I told you! I told you the fly gets the GTs! That's a big black one! He took your fly! Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know what to do because you you just got a jig head, eh? Oi, bro! Just stay up high if you can. Keep going. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I was just about to get some iPhone footage of you. I can't believe you finally hooked the GT and it was on that. I mean, I can believe it because it happens. But that just sucks that it was on that. The black GT, bro. Yeah, the long Tom wanted it, then the black GT was just on it, eh? Well, I saw the long Tom, that's what made me go back. Yeah. I've been casting this stick bait for hours, bro. I watched the whole thing go down. That was crazy, bro. Uh, shut. This is my favorite eating fish. Spanish mackerel. Straight down here. Oh. There we have one chunk. Beautiful. Instead of taking this back to camp, I'm actually going to leave it up, up on the top here because I don't want to, I don't want to fish up, I mean, I don't want to shark up these waters for other fishermen that come here to catch fish. So if we put this back in the water, then sharks are probably going to hang around in this spot a lot more. So we don't want to do that. An eagle or birds or crabs or anything else will eat this. And yeah, it goes back into nature. So that's that's the reason why. Let's go package this up. It's too dangerous to carry a fish like that with rods, drone, everything along that cliff. I don't want to risk my life for a fish, for a dead fish, you know? Oh, it's kind of opening already. There it is, fish and chips. Fish and chips, bro. Inside my tackle box. Yeah? yeah? Fish in the tackle box. Perfecto. Do you reckon you're gonna stay? Yeah, okay. Are you gonna be right getting back? Are you gonna be right trying to get back? Yeah. Make it work, eh? Hey? Yeah, what about you? Same thing, make it work. Yeah, the first and last bit. I might even cook some fish while you're here then. Yeah, don't wait for me. Yeah, okay. I'll catch you later then. See you right. Good luck. Hopefully big GT. Yeah, get one. Yeah, see <laughs> yeah, ya. Oh, I'm probably going to leave my rods here overnight because we're going to fish here in the morning. It's a big walk back. Much easier to leave the rods here than take, take them back. So yeah, that's the plan. Getting down here with rods and stuff is way too crazy. Alright, let's go, eh? Strap it up. Just going to jump, eh? Boom! Double jump, big jump here. Ready? Let's go! Well, here we are. 
Home sweet home. I reckon I'm gonna cook some fish up soon. So we get that out of the backpack and make some food, eh? Oh, this is a life. Sipping on my seven hour old coffee. Still hot in this, so it's crazy. And the view, beautiful, mate. Just having a bit of chill time before we start cooking some fish. The mackerel's still quite fresh, so I might even just sear it, put some lime, some soy sauce, salt, pepper, and then boom, like that. Later on tonight, we can do a proper cook up. I got lots of cool flavorings that I bought from the shop, so we can try that later for dinner. That is the update so far. So, yeah, catch you guys later, eh? You Yeah. I'll put this here actually. Oh, there's so much. I'm just gonna sear up this little bit here. This, this and this. And we'll eat that for now. Save this for later. Airtight box. It should keep all the ants out and everything. And we can wash it later. Perfect. There we are. Turn this on. There we are, it's on. Perfect. Block the wind a little bit. Sweet. Spatula. Pull her in. Ah. Oh, when that heats up, we'll just quickly put the... Oh, is that clean? It's pretty hot already. I'll put a tiny bit of soy sauce in there. Yeah, that's hot. Get the get the mackerel in there. Skin from the oil. Skin from the oil. <laughs> we'll get oil from the skin. Probably turn that down a bit. Yeah, there is a few sandflies here getting around never fun while we're waiting while we're waiting we'll cut up this lime here she'll probably cut probably squeeze a little bit in there oh that's a good juicy lime squeeze a little bit in here the burn is still quite high Oh, low now. There we go. There's a lime. Put lime on that midgy bite I just got. Sandflies are not cool, eh? Alright, that'll be done on that side. Flip it over. Ah, look at that. Phew! This is going to be good. I'm going to cook it basically all the way through. But not entirely. This should be right. I don't think ants can get in this because it is airtight. But I'm gonna keep it in the shade on this rock. Here we are. We'll double down on the rocks. Keep it flat. There we go. Can stay there. Some wood for some fire later. For a fire later. That looks amazing. That burns pretty crazy, eh? I think it's starting to heal pretty good now though. Probably squeeze a little bit of lime on it, actually. Oh. Natural disinfectant, eh? 
or whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, it's stinging. Oh, burning. Ouch. That'd be the acid, I guess. I reckon that's about done for how I want it. I'll pull her off. Don't want it cooked all the way through, remember? Oh, nice. Woo. She's hot. Oh, we're gonna lime her up. Juicy lime. Yeah, I know you want some. I can see ya. You. Few um, mosquitoes and sand flies on this side. I might move to the other side of camp in the wind. It's probably because there is not much wind. Ah, another one. I'll flavor it up here. Lots of pepper. But there's mozzies and midges everywhere on this side. Put tons of pepper on the side and we can dip it in. Oh, I'm itchy already. Crazy. A little bit of salt. Nice. And then some soy sauce. Splash, splash, splash. Bit more in the corner. There we are. That's off, that's up. There we go, let's go eat. Get away from these sand flies and mosquitoes. Here we are. Better view anyway. Nice ocean view. Oh, they really got me quickly, eh? Itchy. These ones are so itchy here. Woo. So here we go, let's dig in. My favorite fish, Spanish mackerel. Oh. That is delicious. Look at that. Mmm. Woo. Alright, Joy, let's go over here. Sit on a rock, eh? Hey? Sit on a rock and enjoy the view. That is so good in the skin. Wow. This is living for a white chunk. Nice. This is probably some of the most perfectly cooked Spanish mackerel I've ever done. And it tastes that good. Fresh from the ocean. Soy sauce, lemon, salt, pepper. It just tastes incredible. Joe's out there still fishing. He's had a bit of um bit of an interesting trip good one lots of potential big ones but he's all the way here from New Zealand so he's still out there on the rocks having a dig good on him I just really wanted to get back to camp and eat my favorite fish super fresh like this Slightly moist still in the inside, which is how I like it. Fresh enough to do that. And it is gold. Wow. This trip has been so good. Not like super easy, pretty hard to get to the spots, and not like a ton and ton of action, but enough to keep to keep me going, you know? I think I've caught like seven different species. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Still got a few days left, so don't know what to expect. Ugh. I would like to get an opportunity to get one of those huge GTs. That would be amazing. Other than that, a Maori Rass would be also incredible. Of course, still never caught one. Anything is a bonus, really. Just being out here on the island is just amazing. What a lifestyle, eh? Hope everyone's enjoying the vids. And there's going to be more action, that's for sure. If it's Whether it's catching fish or whether it's on the land, jumping in the water, anything. Catching cooks, anything like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And, yeah, stay tuned. You Cheers. This has been me for the last hour or something. I was sitting out there and there was just too many mosquitoes and midges. Um, waiting for Joe to get back, anticipating some stories, that's for sure. Hopefully he's alright. <laughs>
solo sessions um, can be pretty gnarly. So yeah, hopefully he's good. When he gets back, then I'll spark up that thermocell thing and that should keep away the mosquitoes and midges. But I'm just saving that for when he's here. Probably, probably not much else to do. I left my fishing rods at the rocks and the tire's probably not gonna be low enough to walk to the edge and do some snorkeling around. Still not out yet. When he gets back, we'll cook some dinner. Could be an early night again, eh? Tent diaries, eh? Right, I'm gonna make a big fire behind the camp. Use these rocks to make a fire pit. Or bigger ones. What the? We'll see. <sighs> Alright, we'll go and collect some wood, eh? We're gonna use this stuff to start the fire. A whole lot of kindle, eh? Alright, there's some kindle. We'll get some more wood. Alright, we need twice that much, at least. So I'll keep getting more. G.I. Joe is back. Dab stories? <laughs> what happened? Something out about the ledge. Yeah. And your nose is hell burnt. Yeah. The outgoing tide pumps just as much as the income. Yeah, okay, so it's both. I saw 10 GT. They all followed my lures. Yeah. And none of them had it. Same thing. Same thing, just like and I was like, here we go, here we go. Turn. So they're real like, shut down. I tried like six different lures and within the 10 fish. The six lures were spread out, so it wasn't just the same lure through the whole lot. Yeah. Well, right, that's probably enough wood. For now, Joe's back. And the fish was real good, eh? It's it's still here in um airtight box, so the ants didn't even go near it. I don't even think they know it's there. Um, I'll just have to wash that out tomorrow. But yeah, so much fish there still. I just had a couple of off-cut bits that I had from there. Tasty though, eh? It's real good. I mean, Spanish, have you had it? Yeah. It's my favorite fish, like I said. Oh. Just a real nice tasting yeah, fish. It's dinner. very mild. Is that our dinner then? Yeah, for sure. There's so much there. We may as well cook it all and then I might even try and package it in something if I have like a plastic slip, yeah. which I probably have. And then we can save some, but yeah, cook it all. Might start this fire. Sheesh kebab, eh? All right, let's start this. Smoke out the mosquitoes and midges. Here we go. This stuff doesn't stay long burnt, so we gotta get some normal wood to catch a lot. Preferably this stuff, I think. Yeah, see that? Gotta give it a blow. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that'll get it going. And I'll just build it up slowly with some big wood, and it should keep away every little insect. That's for sure.
Alright, we're going to cork. Little campfire there. Huge slabs of mackerel. Ah, huge slabs of fish, really. Salt it up. And whatever's left, we're gonna put the fish in these Ziploc bags here and eat it tomorrow. That's the plan. All right, that's gonna take a little while to cook, so we'll come back later, eh? heat low heat for a long time to cook all the way through it's probably gonna be too dark later to film so just gonna do this we're gonna chill out later by the campfire but the packing of the mackerel and stuff i'm gonna do off camera but you'll see us eating it tomorrow so yeah catch you guys later by the campfire campfire fairy tales mate you How's the presentation? Whoa. <laughs> there you go, mate. Let's have a look. Sheesh. Yeah. That looks all right. Um, they might, there's bones down the middle. Oh, yeah. But they're easy to get. Do you have a fork and stuff? Yeah, I got my fork. Yeah, sweet ass. Lime would be mean. There's you... limes here. Are you going to put some lime on yours? Yeah, I'll put lime. Do you want me to cut you some? Yeah, do you got a knife over there? Yeah. Oh, I'll cut you off a... Couple of slither, I'll cut you off half basically. Yeah. Lime. There you go, bro. Yeah, man. There's actually everything else over there, like pepper and stuff. I can bring it all over. Pepper, soy sauce, and salt is here too. I'll bring it over. Might as well have the whole rendition. Shebang. Shebang, you bang. Yeah. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Have you tried some yet? Yeah, I just tried a little bit now. What do you think? Real good, man. You're keeping quiet, yeah, eh? The proper protein that we haven't had. Look at that. Go give us a taste. Oh, that crisp is slim. What's your rating out of 10? Oh, for me, it's, oh man, Spanish Mac is 10. That's my number one fish. 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It was my favorite fish. There's no other fish I like more. Oh. Pretty, chilled, pretty yeah. chilled evening. Love wow. it. Wow. So good. We need it for tomorrow, that's for sure, eh? Save it for tomorrow. <laughs> so everything's looking good for tomorrow then, huh? We should be re-energized unless a tropical cyclone comes. <laughs> Stay tuned, eh? Alright, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat our dinner, so. We're gonna enjoy it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Wise words. Respect the sea. That's it. Respect. Yeah. It's all about respect, mate. Respect everyone, everything, and everywhere. Were you, Perfect. Was that good? Yeah. <laughs> Such is so the skin because it's crispy is incredible. Alright, it's the end of another epic day here on the island with Joe. Yeah. Huge day. What was that? You. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep on this red carpet, have a nice energizing one, and wake up tomorrow fresh, we hope, for another big mission. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys tomorrow. You. Yeah. Good morning, really, really, really windy this morning and potential seems like it might rain, which is very bad for Joe and I because we have to, we've left our fishing gear on the other side of this mountain 
and if those rocks are wet it's definite death sliding down so we won't be able to go fishing if it rains so hopefully it doesn't rain we're just making the morning brew of coffee and then we're going to head out it's still pitch black right now so yeah i reckon we're just going to start the walk and then i'll see you guys a bit later we need we don't we can't waste any time this morning so we're going to get there let's go Pew. Walking in the dark. Pretty sure that oh the waves are massive bro. Yeah. What? I think there's like 10 foot waves coming in here. It's gonna be that windy when we get over there. Woo Love it! <laughs> this is crazy! Well our fishing rods might not even be there, they might be washed away. What? Good day! Thank you very much! <laughs> wow, bro! I don't even know if we're going to get our rods back. I'm serious, because the waves are going to be crashing through that gap, I reckon. Wow! That is crazy! Waves out there, eh? Oh, I'm feeling pretty tired. <laughs> no, I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a good rich tire, too. Oh, it's a Cooper. Cooper tire, mate. Back at camp. Time to chill. Wait for the conditions to hopefully calm down, too. We can try. Well, you attempt been to get. Down. I need to calm down, need mate. To calm down, mate. I've been going wild up there on the mountain. Conditions are still crazy, but it's good to have downtime. Just sitting here peacefully on the rocks, having a bit of life reflection. What to do next, where to go next. It's nice, it's peaceful, it's relaxing, it's character building. But yeah, hopefully the conditions calm down a bit soon and we can get back out there on the rocks fishing, eh? Hopefully later, let's see. Are you alive? G.I. Joe? He's out cold. Basically a repeat of yesterday. Very windy, possible rain. So I don't think we're going over the mountain again. <sighs> Alrighty, so this is the prognosis. It's high winds, high seas, and 
a lot of cloud in the sky with possible chance of rain which means it's too dangerous to go over the mountain one slip fall you die so yesterday joe went over to the other side of the island through this jungle here and fished a nice tropical beach while i stayed here at camp and i built a bed out of wooden slats <laughs> and watched sharks try to eat turtles so today I'll go on the tropical side. If it doesn't clear up, which it looks like it's not gonna clear up. And yeah, that's it. So I'll go through the jungle and we'll do some tropical beach fishing. And there is some rock ledges, so yeah. Other side of the island. Let's go. Oh, bro. I don't even know why I went to touch that. That is crazy, huh? What? It's crazy. I went to just pick up that bottle. I don't know, something about that bottle looked enticing. Grabbed it, immediately those green ants went all over my hand and it's apparently a nest. They're probably going, yeah, like Joe said, from here to the bottle. There's so many there. Ah. Imagine throwing that at someone, ant bomb. <laughs> Brand new cavy, salty passion P2. We're taking that with us through the jungle. Let's trap it in here. Head into the jungle. Be there for the day. Um, I don't know. I'll see. But like, I guess if it's already night out and I'm not back yet, then maybe something happened. Because you know, I'll come back before dark for sure. What do you got? Seems like it's calming down a little bit, yeah. Or what? Still looks crazy wavy. I'm gonna go. Just, I'll probably get bored, and I might just go around there. Yeah. Suss it out. Let's have a look, see if our rods are there and shit. All right. If it's fishable, I'll probably fish it, but. Yeah. I don't know. See how you go. Good luck, man. Yep. Don't Catch get, you later. Don't get smoked by a snake. <laughs> oh, you saw the black whip it, eh? Black whip snake, yeah. Are they poisonous or what? Venomous. Yeah. Put you in hospital, but won't kill you. Yeah, right. I'll try to be careful. You saw it just here, right? Oh, it was like 200 meters up the creek. <laughs> oh, you'll see there's like, yeah. there's like a big rock patch in the middle of the creek and the yeah. sun was beaming on it yeah it was right in the middle of that wow so you'll see it right. you'll see this massive big flat rock in the creek yeah. it's probably there how big was it that big sort of that big that big for yeah. real yeah but it's like pretty thin they're really thin and long i didn't realize they were that big yeah all right <laughs> sweet man jungle time have fun yeah i'll smash my leg like you did don't do it yeah <laughs> all right have a good one. Don't you. Don't no, I'll be back. Oh, here it is, the black whippet. Oh, oh bro. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> All righty, we're walking through this um, dried up creek area. As Joe said, it looks pretty snaky. Very snaky. What we do have, if we get lost, is Google Maps on non-satellite mode and you can kind of see like the direction where we are 
even when we're far out of reception it still picks up the GPS which is kind of cool can't see anything on satellite though so you got to be on this setting but this will show if we're heading in the right direction or not oh it's getting dense already but yeah righty let's keep following this creek eh that's strong but that's not strong oh there's a green ant already that's gonna break <sighs> Many of those green ants. I use this stick to ward away some nasties if we need it. There's like spider nests everywhere. There's spider nests or green ant nests. There's lots of green ants there. They come in packs. Oh, just, just jumping. What a sort of crazy looking lizard. That whole rock just moved. Wild. Yeah, ants nests all here too. Crazy. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off and just try and get through this. If anything crazy happens, I'll turn it back on. I just want to get to the fishing spot. Oh. Oh. oh, we're hooked up. Vine on the rod. That's what we don't want. Cool paperbark tree. Just want to quickly check where we are, if we have moved anywhere. Oh, we're going in that direction. We kind of want to go the other way. We need to go to the right. So if I can find a track that goes to the right soon, we'll do it. So I've just removed myself from the creek because it's going to somewhere I don't want to go. It's going to the left side of the island. We want to go through here. So we're basically just cutting straight, straight across. Hopefully we can find a way to the other side <laughs> without getting bit by a snake this is the snakiest looking area I've ever seen we're still ascending but I feel like we're getting nearer to the top and then we should be able to see our way down so far we've survived Looks a little bit clearer over here, so we'll go this side. Whoa. I feel like we're getting somewhere now. Oh! We are on the descent, heading down to the ocean, I think. <laughs> Every time I see a clear patch, I try and follow it, but it doesn't really last very long. <laughs> Hopefully not long now, eh? Sweet, I can see the beach. Oh, that was actually crazy. We gotta try and get down here somewhere. Looks like it might be a cliff here. Straight cliff. Oh no. Oh, it's thorn bush. Can we even get down here? I don't know, but there's the ocean. It's nice and clean on this side. I'm going to try and find my way down. Oh. Wow. So entangled in these vines. Come on, let me go. Wow! Oh! 
huge. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, huge spike in the hand. We found a rock. We're going down that, down to there. Wow. Woo. That was crazy. Woo. Talk about a mission. So we finally made it out of the forest. Set up the fishing gear. Let's go fishing. Wow. Epic. There's a cool set of mini islands over there. I reckon we're gonna go out there. Let's touch this sand. Come on. Phew. We made it. I think we might try and find another way home. <laughs> Maybe over that way. Oh yeah, we'll try. Alright, let's head up there. And we'll set the fishing gear up. Yesterday I didn't fish. I just hung around the camp. So today I'm really keen to get back out there. Haven't done any of this light tackle fishing on this trip so far. So yeah, PE2 rod. Really keen to test this one out. Looks real nice. Not broken from that mission. Looks all sweet. Frothing. Let's go fish. Let's go. We're gonna set up our gear right here on this nice little coral beach. Then we'll go out there fishing. Oh. Nice. All right, let's go. Phew. All right, we've got a freshly spooled 4000 Saltiga with 2.5, P2.5. And we're gonna put on some 70 pound leader because there could be some big, bigs out there. And we've got a box of cavi, cavi lures, mate. So yeah, let's get this rigged up. Perfect reel size for this rod. A cavi Salty Passion 7.6, medium, P2, 40 gram. Three piece. Frothing. Ew. Right, they just tied a fresh, epic looking FG knot. And these cases are so handy. You can put lighter, line tensioner, scissors, leader, reels, anything in here. We'll keep these pliers out. We'll take them, put them in my pocket. <sighs> so good. Yeah, I'll put these in my pocket for de-hooking fish. All right, let's put a lure on next, eh? I think we're gonna start off with a white cavi minnow. Could be tuna early in the morning. And I know tuna like the color white. So this is the first choice for out here today. Beautiful looking little minnow. Swims like crazy, so good. Simple uni knot. With Four twists. There we have it. Everything packed away. Backpack's going on. Sun's coming out. Gonna put the cavi sunglasses on. Cut out the, the glare. With the floating strap. Really handy if you lose them. Or not lose them because of the strap. Alright, sunnies are on. Whole new world there, cutting the glare out. Rod and lure. Let's go. Frothing for this first cast. Out here. Ew. Actually, I'm pretty keen to get wet. Oh, is that a beep? Actually, I'm pretty keen to get wet. Oh. Woo. Beautiful. Whoa! Slippery slide. Try and walk out a bit. There's a bigger gap. We'll have to swim that gap.
<sighs> Go straight out to that one, eh? Oh, skating! Phew. Whoa! Sick! Hopefully we get a fish out here. What are we looking at? Looks nice! We made it! Phew. I think I just saw something. Alright, let's have a cast, eh? Perfect little platform for casting almost 360 degree where should we go first I can we'll stay here for a while something should come past oh yep yep we're on we're on Whew! huge flat smiling we're on where is he he's gone deep oh and oh wow he's coming in he's oh he's going deep this is i've never had one fight this hard oh he's really trying to bite the lure whoa look at this Woo wow come in mate big big long time oh he's, i think he's bitter oh he's biting the lure this guy is feisty very feisty. Woo! Look at that. That's actually big. First fish on this setup. Whoa! He's trying to bite. Oh! Uh, oh, this guy. Really strong. Super duper strong. And he's biting, trying to bite everything. A lot of power in this fish. Look at that. That's cool as. Get the lure straight out, get him back. There we go, lure is out. Send him back, eh? Oh, he was very, very strong, that guy. That long tom. It's long tom, not long tong. <laughs> I think I said long tong. First fish on the board. Cabby minnow. I gotta check. So I took a couple of little nibs at the leader. Very feisty long time. Let's get back out there, eh? Phew! Now where's the tuna or the queen fish or trevally, something? We'll, go, we'll burn this one in. No hit on the burn, eh? Well, the tide's moving in really fast so we're gonna swim in before we go underwater big swim <clears throat> Right, we're in. We're swimming. Ugh. Hopefully no sharks come, eh? Surely not. <clears throat> Woo. All right. Halfway. All right, let's go. Rest of the way. Ugh. Almost easier backstroke. Also, I can see what's coming. <clears throat> Very slippery rock. Ugh.
Oh. Well, that's where we were out there with all the bird pillar. Bit of a swim back, eh? I don't know if that was worth it for one long time. <laughs> Hopefully more luck along here. How is that? First cast off the beach, basically the beach, and we get a nice tusky, beautiful one. Wow, that is so cool. There it is, beautiful tusky. They they actually fight really hard for their size, but we're gonna get this lure out and we'll get him back in, eh? Here we are, watch this guy, zoom off. Awesome fish, see ya mate. There he goes. Alrighty, second fish landed today. We'll keep moving our, our way along. First we might stop somewhere here and have a little bit of a snack. Fuel up for some more fishing. I'm actually gonna eat this dark choc chip oat bar before it melts in this hot sun. Oh, it's already started melting. Looks really good, eh? Oh, yum. Super yummy. Never had one of these before. It should power me up to keep fishing. And then later on, we have a huge walk back over this mountain again. Through the forest, over the mountain. So hopefully we score a few more fish before we have to head back again. Okay? Let's see how we go, eh? Ew. Just casting randomly along the beach, heading back home, and we hook something. What have we got? I think it's a long time. Yeah, we got a baby long time. Hey! Oh, now he's going crazy. Oh! Oh! Well, didn't didn't really fight until now. Who didn't swim? Oh, bring him in. All right, mate, you're going back. You're going back right now. You're going to probably try and bite me, aren't you? I can see those teeth. They look gnarly. Oh. Crazy teeth. Here we go. There was an eagle here before, but I'll let you go. Whoa! Go on. Ew. Just walking home. Walking cast in, had that long time. Oh. Well, I'm almost time. I didn't film any of getting back to sin. I didn't film any of getting back to sand. Like that, but a thousand times more crazy. I can see the beach at camp. So we're gonna get down there and then chill. Crazy, man. Look at that thickness. Woo! Home sweet home. Still high tide, I might go for a swim. Wonder if Joe's here. Maybe Joe's gone for a mission. If this wind continues to drop, and the waves will get smaller, we'll be getting picked up tomorrow. So tomorrow will be our last day. And if it does drop off, we should be able to fish the GT hole. So that would be good tomorrow morning. I think Joe's over there now. I'm not, 
I don't know if he'd be fishing. It's pretty crazy conditions. I've been on the other side, Chopo side, and it was pretty average, that's for sure. If the wind and waves don't drop, then we could be here for quite a long time. So yeah, I'm ready to go back, edit these videos that I've got already, for sure, and then get pumped up for another mission rather than just get flogged by shitty conditions and then be off it. So yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we get picked up and then start the video editing, which would be sick. Frothing for that. All right, catch you guys later. Eww. Good morning. Jar up there. Eww. This is our last morning here. We get picked up today. Conditions are a bit calmer. Last time looking into this hole, you ready? That's super cool. And the air is amazing. Conditions look um, kind of rough still, but very fishy. Some real fishy, so we got to hike. You're pretty much on the eggshell there, right? Eh? Eggshell, man. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go fishing. We need to make the most of these next few hours. Come back and pack everything up. Then get out of here. Ew. <laughs> hey, not cooperating, eh? <laughs> so, apparently, there's a big double hookup about to happen. <laughs> How many hectares to try land a double, eh? Oh, two big bangers. Yeah, one would just have to wait, I guess. Yeah. The very first glimpse of the last sun. Woo! Ah, that looks right. How is it all? Yeah. Real good. Real good. This is where Joe stashed the rods yesterday instead of out on the rock. Getting plastered in salt. Oh, oh it's nice here, eh? Yeah, it is nice. Big, big turtle. Yeah, fully yesterday, man. The waves are like breaking way out here and just right the way through. Oh, so it's way more chilled than yesterday. Yeah, see? This was just ball of whitewash. Great ball of whitewash. Get these rods, get the salt crystals off, they're huge. That's crazy how much salt came on here, eh? She's probably not gonna get all that off. That's good enough. We are actually heading. Conditions are good enough that we can fish off this rock, which is nice. Looks very, very fishy out there. So hopefully we hook up big, big. I guess when that sun starts cooking the rock, it'll be all right. Yeah. No, I think it's, I think it's doable, man. You got up there? Yeah. Super. That was heavy. <laughs> I might go up over the top. Are you? No, there's like another sort of route you might be able to go here. Oh, yeah. Okay. You right? Hang on. Uh, it's just a million rods. Okay, yeah. Yep. What's your tips? Yeah, I got them. Woo! That'll be good, man. I'll put them up now. I'll come back and help you, eh? Right? Yeah, I'll we'll see how I go, yeah. Phew! Then I come in from the side. Big sidewinder. Okay. Uh, the fifth way, eh? That's way more simple, uh, Fifth element. Phew! <laughs> <laughs> I hung there, bro. Yeah, I'm used to that. <laughs> yeah, I was going good. <laughs> Definitely looks fishy, yeah. yeah. Is that? It's a salty passion. Yeah. Salty passion for you. Salted up passion, eh? No, oh, we've probably got to be careful here too, eh? Yeah. The rocks are going to be a slippery slide back into the water with half a Spanish mackerel. <laughs> Once we get down there, yeah, on the barnacle. Yeah, 
Alright, let's go. Alright, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, oh. You wouldn't want that to hit you as a fish hit. I right, back my drag off a bit. Kinda of sketchy, eh? Oh. Oh, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Not fishing. <laughs> Not fishing over there, anyway. You get washed in and you're done. So sketchy. Oh, we tried. That's not worth fishing. It's not worth risking our life, so, for a fish. So, we're gonna try and get back up the slippery slide. <laughs> Crazy. Bailing on the idea. Full bail. Alrighty, well that didn't go to plan. Way too psycho to fish that. So we'll probably just hang here for a bit, try and work out what we can do next. If we can't fish, then we don't fish at all then. <laughs> um, don't want to get pumped just for a fish. And we might be heading home without a fish on the last day, but yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. Phew. Fishable at home. Oh, definitely not on that rock. Even Barney's done, eh? Yeah. All right, so the cab dog XJ Walls trip has come to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed all the action. Pretty crazy trip. No one had really fished here from land that we that we know of, so kind of like sussing everything out was kind of hard. But yeah, did it in the end. If you want to watch um his point of view of the videos and the channel link will be right here yeah. on his head <laughs> and go check it out but yeah thanks everyone for watching catch you later Yew. we're gonna go jump head first in the water now sure. it's, kind of well. hot. it's kind of hot enough. all right see you guys later Yew.